Hey guys, welcome back to Clashing with Cory. Today we're going to add another video to our uh, ring base three star files. And uh, we're going to do how to three star this ring base with the new Wall Wrecker Siege Machine. Uh, Citrus Mind gives us a really good example of how to handle this. Basically, since the CC is always drawable on this, he's going to draw the CC out and just kill it with some archers and a poison and a wizard or two. And then he's going to bring in a kill squad behind the wall wrecker, small kill squad, like queen only, and max Valks in the wall wrecker with the rage. And he's going to, first of all, he's going to kill the queen, and he's also going to cut the ring of defenses. You know what I mean? We've got to break that ring so that we can send the hogs around in one direction. Another interesting thing he's going to do on this attack is look how exposed this enemy king is. He's going to actually put his king down over there and do a king trade so that his king kills the enemy king so that, that king can't chase the hogs around for the last half of the base. So, and, you know, once in a while, this base is set up differently. Sometimes you'll see the CC down here, maybe the queen up here. So you can still use this attack, but you need to go after You don't do it in the same spot. You want to go after those objectives. You know, if the CC's down here, you can draw it and kill it down here. If your queen's up here, you send in your kill squad right up here to make sure you kill that queen and break the defensive ring. So here it goes. First of all, now he's able to actually draw out the CC on this one with only one archer. On some of these layouts, you're going to need to use a hog to do that. And then he uses archers as distraction. He spreads them out because, you know, a dragon can kill, you know, any number of archers if they're in the same spot. But if you spread them out, it forces those troops to stay in the poison. And, you know what I mean, they'll slowly die. And you can bring in a wizard or two at the end to help as that poison wears off. Because one poison will not kill a big dragon. All right, now he comes in, you see he used two giants to tank. I think he wanted to get through the second layer wall, and he was hoping that if he used two giants to tank, he could get through that second layer. And if he would have angled it so the wall wrecker had to go through the archer tower, it might have worked, but it gets stuck on this gold mine, so it doesn't get quite as far. So he puts down two giants, and those giants don't last long, so he puts the wall wrecker down really fast after that, so he gets a little bit of tanking from him. And then he gets a whole line of wizards right here just to clear these outer buildings so that his queen goes into the base as well. There goes the wall wrecker. It's going to be through that first wall pretty quick, but it gets hung up on that gold storage for a little bit. And of course, his queen's firing on a gold storage instead of the enemy queen, but he pops his queen to kill the enemy queen. Now, the... They didn't quite, the wall wrecker didn't quite get through there, but he does have all those buildings cleared with his queen and the wizards behind the wall wrecker. So those raged Valks go right through the wall and really tear through some buildings. So at this point, he's broken the defensive ring and he brings in his hogs. Now normally you want to start your hogs on one side of the ring and work your way around. But on this base, you, you almost always have your four Teslas on the inside. And he doesn't want them to wait until last to hit that. So he drops them in kind of a line so that this last group of hogs over here will actually go in and take care of those Teslas. Now, Giant Bomb can vary on these bases. Sometimes you'll see some in the Inferno compartments. On this one, he's got them in between all of his Teslas. So it makes it a pretty difficult, uh, really kind of a difficult task to heal those hogs effectively when you have those Teslas in the core with the giant bombs in there and all your splash buildings on the outside of the base. So we got some skellies popping up. He's gonna be patient with that poison though. There's the second skelly trap that popped up. So you wanna wait for your, your poison for your skellies until an area, first of all, towards the end so that you've pulled all the skelly traps and also on a skinny area so that your poison's gonna catch all those skeletons. So that was a really good one right there. We're going into a really skinny area of defenses where all the hogs were going to path to and all the skellies followed. Now he's used three of his heals at this point, and he's got to be patient on that last heal because he's got a wizard tower and a bomb tower on the back end. So he places that perfectly to cover that splash damage on the back end. And... You know, I didn't really show it, but we did talk about it at the beginning. He did put down his king on this side and funneled in a little bit so it would kill the enemy king. And he's also got his cleanup down right after his hogs, of course. And they're going around with the king, cleaning up this base really fast. It was actually a really fast attack. He got this base three-starred in two minutes and 20 seconds. That's really fast for a hog attack, especially when you consider that he did a draw and kill on the CC before he even started it. Normally, that's going to eat up about at least 20 seconds on its own so really fast attack really nice attack by citrus mind 
you know, and keep in mind, you just got to go for those same objectives. If you're hitting this base and the CC and the Queen are in a different spot, your attack's going to look a little different. But just make sure you get those objectives and you'll be fine. Kill the enemy CC, break the defensive ring, kill the enemy Queen, get a King trade if you can, and hog the rest. You know, uh, you know, and, you know, practice and use some heart, smart heal placements and you're going to wreck this base. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you for the next video.